This video explains how to find the index positions of non-zero values in a matrix in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the matrix that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called MyMet. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a matrix containing three rows and three columns. And some of the values in this matrix are equal to zero and other values are unequal to zero. Now let's assume that we want to return all index positions of the values that are unequal to zero. Then we can apply the which function as you can see in line six of the code. And within the which function, we need to specify the logical condition that we want to use. So in this case, we want to find the values that are not zero in our matrix. And then we also need to specify the R int argument to be equal to true. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new matrix object is appearing, which is called mat non zero. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new matrix which contains the row and cull index positions of all non-zero values. So for instance, the index position in the rows at the index position two and the column one is non-zero. So in this case, this is the value one. And for that reason, this index position is shown in our output matrix. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.